Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is a park bench still in Shenley because we record everything on one day. Yes, yes we do. As, as of right now, we are 15, 20 minutes into recording. No one has taken up the offer of the treasure hunt. No. No. Possibly. And we've still got this new... Y yes, thank you. Don't Ken Dodd me. <laughs> Obscure references. <laughs> We do keep we do keep going to new places though. Yes. Which is kind of what we what we're talking about. We we travel. Yes. We travel. We get questions about how we manage that. <laughs> this isn't the video we just said we were gonna do, is it? Is it not? No. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we can do this one. Let's just do this one. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> we just Stop had a, the us. <laughs> We just had a discussion about which of the two video ideas we had. Uh, and he just said, "No, no, let's do the other yeah, one first." <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> should we do travel? Yeah, let's do travel. <laughs> so I'm jet lagged yeah. a little bit. I've been working in Hong Kong. And that's an eight-hour time difference? Yeah. 12-hour flight overnight? Yeah. And you got back when? Uh, morning of the day before yesterday. That's a lot of words to say two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's jet-lagged. <laughs> now, I'm a lot better today than I was yesterday. Yesterday, I could have sworn it was nighttime throughout the entirety of the day. Yeah. There is nothing I could do to resolve that other than stay awake and then sleep at the right times. Yeah. So that's your tactic for dealing with that it. That is what I am doing to deal with it. Have you had jet you've been to LA recently, haven't you? Yeah, westbound is fine. I find that westbound is just a long day. Eastbound. So it turns out there is a thing you can buy in America. Like mel is it melanin? Melatonin? It's melatonin. Some something like that. That you cannot buy in the UK. That's what your body makes when you're in the sun. Something like that. And apparently if you take this in tablets, it's meant to help jet lag, but it's not legal in the UK. Oh, okay. So since I don't get jet lag when I go over westbound to the US, I don't buy it. And then I come back to the UK and I go, you know what would have been a really good idea? Yeah. But you do shifts anyway. Yes. Um, I start work either at quarter to six in the morning, nine in the morning, or one in the afternoon. Luckily, I don't do light night shifts very often. But that means I'm finishing at two, five thirty or... 9.30. Yeah. So that's a hell of a shift. But How do you do it? It's the rock and roll mix. <laughs> no, oh. no, hold, hold on, hold on. Let me guess. <laughs> hold that thought. <laughs> the rock and roll mix of cocaine, <laughs> loud music, uh, you know I was going to make a casual sex joke, but let's move on. <laughs> Close. Okay. It's the rock and roll mix of going to bed early and eating my vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the, the, rock, the rock and roll mix of uh, eggplant and uh, cabbage. I don't know why I picked those two vegetables and called one of them by the American name. I was going to say, I can never... Does that mean aubergine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or as it's better known, penis emoji. <laughs> oh, God, we've got that way around now, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> what are we talking about? Travel, so, shifts. I've merged the two videos, haven't I? Yeah. You're doing both. <laughs> Hold on tight, kids. This is a rock and roll ride. Now, I think that having done shifts, mm -hmm. I um, re have been reasonably... <laughs> I have been reasonably prepared for dealing with yeah. jet lag because I am used to being so knackered yeah. and being able to get on with it because... Okay, that's fine. I, I, if, I, if I'm doing a week of early shifts, getting up at 4, 4.30 in the morning, then to get eight hours sleep, I need to go to bed at eight-ish. So that means I could either do nothing in the evening that week, which some weeks, fine. Yeah. Can't be asked, nothing happening. Other weeks, you know, you're going to the pub, going to a gig, yep. meeting up with some friends, like, and <laughs> loads of other work to do, video editing to do. Yeah, because I, I will call you up with a couple of days. Oh, do you want to go to, to such and such? It's, you know, <laughs> I'm on earlies. And uh, another advantage of doing earlies is you finish at 2 p.m. Yeah. You have the rest of the day to do stuff. To film park benches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, in the cold, <laughs> as, as the sun suddenly sets. In Shenley. In Shenley. Shenley. We need some tumble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, so I, so, saying, yeah, go. Um, I, I had a point. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> so, yes, sometimes I, I am used 
after you know you go to the pub and then you get back at midnight and then you have to be in work for quarter to six. There was that season of tech diff where you got significantly less points. Yes. Because someone oh well, what's her name? I'm gonna have to put their name up because I'm gonna have to research mm, it. Because ah oh, what kind of mad lovely mad bastard are you? <laughs> That you will go through and collate who scored what in, in every, every episode series. of Citation Needed. It's Thank like, you. It's a spreadsheet. I'll, I'll link to it in the description. But there is one season where you get notably less points. And in my shift pattern, I get a slightly longer weekend. Yep. I, get, I, get a, I get a long weekend after or before my early shifts because I work weekends as well. Which means that is an ideal time to drive up to York, set up the equipment, <laughs> a couple of days free to record yep but <laughs> if I've only had three hours sleep a night for the preceding week <laughs> you can see I'm just sat there yep <laughs> <laughs> laughing but not I can't remember if it was two or three uh, it was one of the ones in my parents kitchen uh, so it's one or two so it's probably two because it wasn't the first one yes it's two two <laughs> logic <laughs> Oh. Uh, so, uh, right, travel and shift patterns. So, I, I'm used to being tired. I know that I can get through a day a lot better if I eat at the right time for yeah. whenever I'm meant to be awake. I and if I eat good yeah. food, I I'm feeling good. I just steadily get grumpier. It, notably grumpier. And we've mentioned that before when we have long days that yeah. until we eat. Oh, mind you, I did, I, did some, I did some filming yesterday that I can't talk about with uh, actual proper telepresenter. This is not my YouTube channel, this is something else. And uh, she had the flu, like full on, absolutely, must have been on, on three different types of anti-everything medication. But it's like, no, there's a contract, show must yeah. go on. I've got, and like through rehearsal, I'm going, oh, this isn't, this, this might not be good. This might. And then like we go for live and it's like a light's come on and you could not tell. And that's like, if you want to know why TV presenters earn their money, one of the reasons is, yes, you can be smiling, you can be sympathetic, you can be this wonderful live person, and then the lights go off, you go, oh my God! <laughs> and you go off, and the makeup artist removes more lines from under your eyes and gives you another, another dose of codeine or something. But heck of a skill. Uh, travel, sorry, that's what we were talking about. Because <laughs> we get, the, we get I've, we've genuinely got the question, how do we get to, to a lot of places? Uh, a, lot, a lot of the stuff we've done together the only stuff we've done together has been in Europe. Yeah. And uh, the advantage of Europe, uh, as I noticed when I've looked on the globe recently to uh, Hong Kong, is all the countries are really small and close together. <laughs> yes. I flew over five countries to get to Hong Kong. I was expecting to fly, fly over 20. Yeah. No, you fly over the back of the yeah. earth and Russia's the back huge. Of the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the pole, Matt. You take, it's the pole. <laughs> You just fly up and over the... <laughs> yeah. yeah I'd just do. like to point out I'm, I'm never specifically being obtuse when I'm talking about directions. That's just the way my brain does uh, it. I <laughs> don't joke. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the country is small. Uh, uh, and so taking, uh, taking a flight... I mean, I'm not proud of my carbon footprint at the minute, but taking a flight within Europe is a bit like taking an internal flight in the US. Or, but it's know, shorter. <laughs> yeah. or, or a hopper flight in, in Australia. You know, there's probably a direct connection to where you're going if it's a capital. If not, you change in Amsterdam. Um, yeah. it, uh, skip all airport is terrible. But yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, but it's... There are cheap flights. We, the reason we go to some places, I'll look it up. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's, that's not much. We, we can get to York for more than much that. More, yeah. yeah. But, it's, it's, it's cheaper to travel around Europe from London because we're near airports than it is to travel around the UK by rail. Yeah, if you, if you pick the if right flights, right the flights, right, right dates. Yeah, if you're trying to go to, to an obscure bit of Athens with two days' notice, yeah, you're going to pay through the nose for it. Yeah, if you spot, I, uh, when this goes up, I think it'll just been the video from Dusseldorf. Okay. Uh, that was that was lit that was the cost of going to. Uh, it was half the cost of going to Cornwall in the southwest of Britain for the day. And I've seen people come in, in the comments and other things when we're com uh, not complaining, but mentioning that tech diff's quite hard to do because it's a 200 mile drive. Yeah. We're 200 miles away. <laughs> That's nothing. 
It's like, yeah, but you can't really fly around the UK. Yes. It, <laughs> the train tickets are quite expensive. Yeah. It, so, yeah, it's, we, we travel because... This is a rambly bastard of a video. No, talk. I'll tell you the other one I want to go on. The, the other thing on this. Because <laughs> um, a couple of people have asked me to talk about the Fine Brothers. Did you see this? They're the people who tried to trademark the idea of reaction videos. Oh, did they do the kids react? Yes. Well, they still do, but they yeah. tried to trademark the very idea of. Or okay. At least, or at least that. I mean, I know nothing about this. But that's how the internet reacted to it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Uh, I. I. I'm trying not to be one of those people who will talk badly about other YouTubers, but if they're this big and they're doing that kind of video, I'm okay with it. Um, and there was one specific thing that someone told me. And this is second and third hand, so I'm going to try not to slander them by saying this is, this is something through... To, this, was, this was shown as the idea of good practice that they exemplified, which was they said, if we can't do... Well, sorry, they were claimed to have said, if we can't do three videos in a day, we don't do the format. Whatever they come up with, whatever the thing is, they need to be able... And th this was shown as good practice, so whether it's yeah. actually them or someone like them, we need to be able to churn out three plus videos in a day. Which is reasonable if you don't. I but I see. never wanted to do that. I never wanted to be that person in front of a green screen not going out and doing exciting things. Even if that exciting thing happens to be a duck pond in Shenley. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems to have worked. Yeah. And occasionally I'll call you up and say, do you want to come to... Where, where, where... And, oh, Estonia. 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 Estonia, watch out. We're, we're coming for you next. <laughs> So that was quite a rumble. That was quite a rumble. So, in recap, let's do a recap of what we've spoken about. Jet lag. You can do it, and it might be helpful if you've done shifts. It might not. We have Tra no conclusive proof. This isn't science. Travel. It's expensive, except for when it's cheap. Duck ponds. They don't have ducks on them, and it's cold. Can you see me shivering? That noise we do at the end of the videos. Dung. <laughs> <laughs> and now it goes. Yeah. I'm <laughs> heron. 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 Hang on. Hang on. Let me get a photo of the heron. I need to send Paul a photo of the heron. I'll tell you why in a minute. Oh, you get a photo. Fine. You get a photo of the heron. You get. There's a, there's a heron back there. There is a. There's one of those kind of copy paste things on the internet about uh, the the heron. That if you uh, if you don't forward that message it's to uh, oh well yes because it, it had a big burke in a blue coat going towards it. <laughs> There's the the thing about the heron that if you don't copy and paste the message the, the chain letter to so many people uh, it will uh, it will fly into your house at night and mess up your pots and pans. <laughs> uh, it's wonderful. It's <laughs> every time, Matt, the tree every time. Um, and I had an in joke that with uh, Paul. Okay. So, uh, CR3, you were, I went to Chernobyl with, to come to Estonia with us. Uh, and that got sent around the office I worked in with him for a, a little while. And then uh, it just became an in joke. Us versus them, which was a site we worked on, the 404 page on that was the 404 Heron. <laughs> uh, if, like, at one point, we were doing Realistic Heron Simulator, which was going to be a game where you flew into someone's kitchen and messed up their pots and pans. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that got. That got I got next. Um, Nixoned. Nixoned. Uh, I, I don't know. That's a, that's a ramble that'll go somewhere at the end of a video about herons. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that heron rant. <laughs> Who's that? Heron rant. <laughs> it's like Iron Rand if you're a German <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm proud of that. That's, that's not bad. <laughs>